Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at replacing this iTemp Terrier by Pegler uh, with a Rondo Stat Home Expert. Both these products, uh, believe it or not, are discontinued. Um, I believe it's the UK building regulations and heating controls uh, being managed centrally. So these are kind of like, they're not Bluetooth, they're just independent. You set the program up and you just leave it and that's it, it goes. Um, as you can see, this uh, Pegler Terrier, take it off. Unfortunately, it's the bottom of a towel radiator and the sink is on the left-hand side here. So water uh, drops on the uh, display and when it gets in, the display starts kind of going a little bit funny. So I'm not sure if it's gonna pick it up the camera, but basically, um, yeah, the numerals aren't all displaying properly, some of them are quite dim. Um, but yeah, so you, what you did here was um, took off the normal TRV, put on this uh, Pegler with this adapter ring. Similar with the um, Ronda Stat by Honeywell. Um, they come with a load of ring adapters. So but we'll just go through the, the um, what it's saying on the back here. Uh, basically, you can install this within 10 minutes. 10 minutes designed to install less than 10 minutes. Uh, control range 5 to 28 degrees, frost protection, window detection, automatically, automatic function stops heating when an open window is detected. I guess that's a drop in temperature and it just shuts the valve off. Um, the Peglers, I think, had a separate window sensor. Um, all right, compatibility, basically it's everything, Honeywell, I'm um, just picking out the big ones, Danfoss, Drayton, um, it does list Pegler as well, Mycin, Siemens. Um, so yeah, these things are pretty good. The reason for having it in here is this, this um, although it's balanced, this towel radiator just absolutely takes all the, um, the flow out of the system. It's a massive thing. Um, so yeah, I've, I've kind of balanced it, but I don't really want this thing going on at night. It's just it's too much. So yeah, that's the idea is just to uh, replace this with this. Right, so here we go with the Ronda stat and the installation. I've still got to get my old Pegler um, adapter ring off. I decided to take this off just because the ones that come with the Ronda stat are slightly different. I don't want to mess this install up. Anyway, so what we need to do is get the batteries in here. So we lift these two flaps up and we pull the base out and then that gives us um, access to the batteries. So I'm using Duracells. Don't use rechargeables. You should do but it doesn't work well with these things. I noticed that, um, well it might be just this one, the um, Pegler one, but I found that with the Pegler uh, the batteries seem to go flat within about six months and they should last over a year. Um, I'm not sure if it quotes on here how the batteries last for. Can't see it. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm using these normal Duracells and I've got these Peglers and other radiators and they're still running after well over a year. So anyway, let's get the batteries in, plus minus, and then you just need to slide this across. You may need to just push those batteries down a bit to get this thing in place like so. And then just pop this back on slide these bits down and we want to look at setting the date correctly 2019 all right 10th month third yeah and the time is 12:20 what i do is a little demonstration of it changing the um temperature setting in a sec. 12, 20. So there we go. These are the default settings. I'm not going to mess around with this too much because it's quite fiddly when you go into the manual programming. Um, slightly different to the Pegler. Now these have a, basically they have a comfort setting. 
just looking at this while I'm talking. So they have a comfort setting and they have an economy setting and the economy set setting is default into 16 degrees um, with the comfort of 21. So temperature gauge button in the middle. So the sun indicates the comfort setting which at the moment is 21 degrees. We'll leave that. And the economy setting is 16. We just turn that down a bit to 15. Press it again, and there you go. So it's set for six till about half 11 at night um, for 21 degrees. So I'm just going to change that. So if I press the program button once, don't turn this unless you want individual days. But I want the whole week. So each day is repeated, setting one to seven. So I want that one, press it again. So six in the morning marks the start of the uh, comfort period. And it's a bit late, we want, we want half five. So it's half five in the morning, the comfort setting kicks in. And then the nighttime economy setting so I think we're going to sell that for 11 o'clock. The start of the uh, economy period. So from half five in the morning till 11 o'clock at night. This is on the comfort setting. And then after that, it goes into the economy. So you can set four different periods for this comfort and economy setting. Unfortunately, you can't set individual temperatures, uh, which is where the Pegler I temp um, allows you to do that. You can play around with different temperatures, different time settings, so it's a bit, a bit different. So there we go. So at the moment, we've defaulted to the comfort setting of 21 degrees during the day. If we then change the time by pressing the program just do a quick demo let's change that time to 22 59 and we should see that go into the economy period Fortunately, but anyway, there we go. That's just a flick back to 15. So that looks to be working fine. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do press and hold program, put the time back to 12:26 come past that and have to do it again. It's a bit it's a bit fiddly but twelve twenty six. There we go. Then it's flicked back into the uh, the day program. So we need to get this thing off, this old thing off, adapter plate. Let's get the old Ronda stat on. For a while, hopefully this one won't get the water ingress. I'm gonna have to look at sealing it up. There we go. That one's off. These are the Ronda stat ones with no. oh. so it's all f f um, simple stuff this um, the programming is probably the worst bit but yeah definitely go for defaults and amending defaults rather than what I did was play around with the uh, individual 
settings, programs, just seem to get very messy. Right, not too tight. Let's get this on. Uh, yeah, previous one. Um, used to just do it up. It was up tight, and then because it's on the tail radiator near to a sink, people would knock it, and then it just pops out of the uh, plastic collar. You wouldn't think it would do it, but it does. These ones have got metal collars, so that might be part of the reason why they started falling apart, um, as well as the water getting in. So, the only thing with this is, obviously, it's a radiator one, which would normally sit on top of the valve and um, the towel radiator. Um, it's basically, sticks out like that, so it's not facing outwards, the display. Anyway, you gotta be careful with the, uh, the ring as well. Let's pull that collar out. Now these are fun to get on. If you haven't got any patience, um, get someone else to do this. <laughs> it might be because I've set this all up and maybe that is sticking out too much, who knows. But we can set the temperature manually to very high temperature, say 30 degrees. And this will adjust, so that should just go back into its little hole if I am thinking rightly. But then these are thermostatic radio valves, so the pins go back and forth. Who knows? can hear that's that's the noise of the motor changing the temperature to 30 that should be the pin going back in as it would go out to allow more flow so these are definitely quieter than the peglers all right has that helped I think it has this seems to be going on now. This is an absolute fluke. Right. It can help if you just push and do the collar. Alright. So, we're a bit of an upside down world. 